welcome to this workshop, Unify Batch and Stream Processing with Apache Beam on AWS. Trust you're having a great conference and thank you for choosing to spend the next couple of hours with us. My name is Gandhinath Swaminathan. I'm a senior solutions architect with Amazon Web Services. I have some colleagues here with me, Stefan, Erman, Anshuman, and Matt. We will be supporting you through the workshop today. In this session, we will explore an end-to-end -end application that demonstrates unifying batch and streaming data with Apache Beam using the Flink runner on AWS. You will not only learn how to leverage Apache Beam's expressive programming model, but you will also learn how to build and operate these applications at scale on AWS with very low operational overhead. I'm going to spend the next 10 minutes in this presentation to provide you a foundation for the hands-on session to follow. You can now execute the Apache Beam pipelines with a Flink runner managed by Amazon Kinesis Data Analytics or KDA. Amazon KDA supports the same Apache Beam capabilities as Apache Flink runner. I want to provide a brief overview of the services we offer to host Apache Flink applications. There are three ways our customers commonly run Apache Flink on AWS with varying degrees of flexibility and management. They vary wildly in the experiences that you have. To the far right of the spectrum is Amazon KDA, a fully managed Apache Flink service. In this experience, you focus on building your application locally and uploading it to Amazon KDA. The infrastructure, including the state backend, is completely managed by AWS for you. On the other hand, if you want to make your own choices with regards to operating system, Flink version, the state backend, and so on, you might choose to run Apache Flink on Amazon EC2 or Amazon Elastic Kubernetes Service, EKS. Amazon EMR falls somewhere in between. In this workshop, we are going to be focused on Amazon KDA. Amazon KDA is a fully managed Apache Flink service that enables building sophisticated streaming applications. There are no servers to manage and you only pay for the resources that you use in your application. Amazon KDA supports subsequent latencies and it auto scales to your application demands based on your configuration. With that context of Amazon KDA, let's now jump into the workshop. In this workshop, you are set out to improve the operations of a taxi company in New York. Each of your taxi is equipped with a device that collects data and sends event to our backend. This is a simulation of a telematics scenario. And you are tasked to optimize the fleet operations by analyzing and aggregating the metrics from these devices. You are interested in metrics such as most popular pickup location or the time it takes to get to the airport on a Friday evening. Now to implement the scenario, let's look at the architecture. We don't have any real devices for this workshop. Rather, we have built an application that will simulate the data flow. The simulator will replay the events from real world data. We have we are using the data that has over 10 years of historical trips from the New York cabs. The streaming data is then captured by Amazon Kinesis Data Stream or KDS. KDS collects streaming data at scale for real-time analytics. The data is then analyzed by Amazon KDA in real time. Now wait, oh, that works great for real-time applications. But what about historic data? Let's say you want to bootstrap your state in your application, or you might want to introduce a new KPI and you want to calculate the KPI using historical data, or you want to backfill your dashboard with historic data. All these scenarios require batch processing. To facilitate this, we are going to introduce a second data flow using the Kinesis Firehose. Amazon Kinesis Firehose is a fully managed service to efficiently load streaming data into data lakes and other durable storage services. In our workshop, we are going to be using Amazon S3 or a simple storage service to store historical data. The Apache Beam application 
can now read batch data from Amazon S3 without any changes to the application. With Apache Beam, it facilitates you to use exactly the same code for processing both batch data as well as the streaming data. The output from the analysis is then visualized using Amazon CloudWatch. Amazon CloudWatch is our monitoring solution. It collects logs and metrics and allows you to build intelligent dashboards and alarms. Before we get into the hands-on session, I want to provide some additional details of the application. Our customers commonly ask, what does it take to migrate the Apache Beam application to AWS? There are two considerations. One of the considerations is the way you pass runtime parameters into the pipeline. You are going to be using Amazon KDA, which is a managed Apache Flink service. You don't have access to the environment and you cannot specify parameters directly when you're invoking the Flink command. Instead, you have to configure the application properties, which then gets exposed to the application during runtime. You'll specify the parameters through application properties when you create the KDA application. In the Beam application, these properties are obtained from the environment and it gets exposed through Amazon Kinesis Analytics Runtime Library. These properties are then converted to a common pipeline option, which is consumed by the Apache Beam application. Here's a snippet of code that demonstrates the usage of Kinesis Analytics Runtime to get your application properties. The next consideration for migrating application to AWS is security. Security is job zero for everyone. And security in the AWS cloud starts with Amazon Identity and Access Management, or IAM. In this workshop, you will be creating an IAM rule with appropriate privileges to access the Kinesis data stream. You will then assign this role to Amazon KDA application. This role does not have any standard long-term credentials such as password or access keys associated with it. Instead, when the KDA application assumes this role at runtime, it provides you with a temporary security credential that is valid only for that session. The temporary credentials are automatically exposed to the environment and it gets picked up by the default credentials provider. You can configure your Beam I.O. connectors to pull these temporary credentials from the KDA environment instead of hard coding any of the username or password. Here's a snippet of code that illustrates how to configure your Kinesis I.O. connector using the default credentials provider. The last detail I want to provide you is how we built equivalent semantics for batch and stream processing. Now, the first step is to use the event time semantics to unify batch and stream processing. We are going to set this up under the covers. Amazon Kinesis data streams includes a field called approximate arrival time in every record it receives. It is the approximate time that the record was inserted into the stream. We will assign this approximate arrival time as the event time of the payload. The approximate arrival time is automatically accessible in the streaming pipeline using the Kinesis I.O. connector. However, it's not available in the batch pipeline out of the box. To facilitate this, we have to build a Lambda function to enrich the incoming payload with the arrival timestamp. The Lambda function is automatically triggered by the Amazon Kinesis Firehose. Amazon Lambda is a serverless managed compute where you can run any code when the event is triggered. With those details, I'm going to leave you with some of the references to kickstart your Apache Beam journey on AWS. Now let's get building.